in family systems therapy, um, there's usually an identified patient. And it's so funny. I'm just going to out myself. Like, obviously, that was me. Like, in my family system, I was a crazy one. And uh, you, you can ask your psychotherapist if they were the identified patient in their family system. On the one hand, it's very interesting to me because in this culture, everyone feels marginalized. So you can feel me backpedaling, but I'm not really. Uh, but still, there's always one person in the system who they're like, oh, yeah, that's the crazy one. On the other hand, that identified patient helps maintain the homeostasis for the rest of the family system. And if for some reason he or she uh, is gone or changes or something and disrupts it, then you know the, uh, it could deconstruct, fall out from under itself, the whole uh, homeostasis and what's considered to be normal within the dynamics of how everyone else interacts. So um, I have a feeling that most of you feel like, yeah, uh, I'm the identified patient in my family system. Everyone thinks like I'm the outcast, I'm the pariah. I've always felt marginalized, like I don't fit in. Okay, great. And um, again, uh, you might have to learn new tools to enroll people in uh, your new way of being so that you are no longer considered to be the crazy one in the family.